So STEM involves science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's a set of really very important areas that come together and really drive the economy and discovery and innovation in society right now. Within STEM, there's many different professions that somebody can take that can really have a big impact on human lives. If, when you're 17 years old, there are a couple of things that are really important for you. One is, I think almost everyone when they're 17 years old wants to change the world, wants to make the world a better place. But the other thing is, when you're 17 years old, you'd like to have a career where you'll be able to be satisfied doing exciting things for a long time to come, and you'll be able to earn a good enough living that you'll be able to be comfortable. And STEM professions provide all of those things. The ability to change the world from that point on, a profession that involves continual change, so you learn new things and do new things throughout your life, and the ability to make a good living and even travel internationally and really experience some of the very exciting things about life. I chose this profession because I became really very, very interested in disease and how diseases get transmitted between people and between people and animals. And I thought that I might be able to have the answer to figure out some of these problems and to maybe someday do something where I could have influenced a new discovery that would save people's lives. And you know what? In my career, it took me a long time to get there, but a lot of the things I've done as a professor at a university later led to discoveries in industry where people have developed new antibiotics, new approaches for cancer, and other new types of therapeutics that really do improve people's health. I feel very lucky to have done that. This is a very exciting time for students entering STEM professions. You know, when I was a student, if you went in as a scientist, you thought of yourself as doing some particular thing. And if you went in as an engineer, it was a very different field. But now, the fields are growing together. And a lot of very important discoveries are where these two fields bump into each other where scientists talk to engineers. Maybe there is a device that's been built to use some process that biologists or chemists or physicists have discovered. And by bringing together the engineering, building devices, thinking about how things work, with that science, we're able to do things that we couldn't have done five years ago or 10 years ago. And these new discoveries are going to completely change the way we think about STEM so that we'll think of it as being one thing instead of a whole bunch of little separate things. This is where a real opportunity lies for students who are starting now and entering STEM professions.